Today is the start of a special week, a special roundup week of all the sewing we've gotten up to in this channel during 2021. Today is all about toppers. Stay tuned. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. And today is the start of the roundup week. I have decided to present you my roundup of 2021 in several parts instead of doing a full length 90 to two hour long video like I've done in other years. I think it might be easier for you to see what sort of garments grouped up into certain areas rather than just seeing them all mixed up. I came up with this idea several months ago thinking I'm gonna have a lot of time to go and edit very peacefully. Nope, I'm editing at last minute as always. And this is part one. I will make a playlist for you to see them all if you want to when you have time. But this is part one and it's going to be all about toppers. Now, before we start into the roundup, I do need to make a disclaimer. I do sew a lot. I do have a sewing channel. This is actually my job. I don't just sew as a hobby. I do plan my content in advance. And I do plan a lot around teaching and what practical things could be helpful for you rather than just showing my finished garments. So. I do sew a lot this year. I think I made around 140 garments around there. So I just want to make that clear. I do sew for a living. This is what I do. I have a teaching channel and as such, I produce content that revolves around making clothes for myself, which is a really nice side effect. I have the best job in the world. I get to do what I really love. And I also get super nice garments while showing you a lot of the sewing techniques. So. I can't tell you how much I love my job and what I'm doing now. I had another job in the past, but what I do now makes me really, really happy. And I'm really happy that you come and spend time with me and share my joy as well. I have 31 garments to share and just because they're toppers, it doesn't mean that they're all for winter. Some of them are very appropriate for in between weather, spring, autumn, and even summer. You'll see them made out of all types of fabric, very lightweight heavyweight anywhere from a light chiffon topper to a wool coat. I named them toppers and I sort of included anything that goes on top. Could it be a cardigan, a sweater, a hoodie, a jacket, a blazer, a coat. All that type of garment is included in here and you'll see a nice commentary pictures. Quite nice and fun to watch. It takes me countless hours of editing to put all this together for you but I know a lot of you enjoy seeing the yearly roundups so here we go into part one let's see all the toppers I made the llama pullover and hoodie in January I made the regular bust option and a size 14 to 16 at the hips I added a little bit of length at the sleeves one inch the first one you're seeing here is made with an athletic knit Super pretty, I saved a lot of that fabric and I've made a dress recently, you might have seen it. And all the rest is a black athletic knit. These princess seams come from the neckline and in that center panel you have inseam pockets that are hidden there. At the back you also have princess seams, it's a very well made pattern that's not boxy at all. This one has the hood, it's a paneled hood, it's got several pieces, it's fully lined, super pretty. No joggers, sweatpants or pants or jeans for me. I've got a pencil skirt and boots. On the video on my channel, you can see how to sew the front inseam pockets, the thumb holes, and how to do the lined hood. And the second one is made out of a red stretch velvet. This one has a cow option and I do have the center panel, but I didn't sew the pockets. Whenever I can simplify a pattern, I do like to skip the pockets because I don't end up using them. <laughs> Just as nice, same fit and everything. The Metra blazer from Love Notions was a super fun make. I really enjoyed sewing this one. It's got really nice details. This one's made for structured knit fabrics or stretch wovens. This will not work in a full woven because you need that stretch factor for it to fit. There is a standard and a full bust option. I made the extra large. I used a super heavy mystery knit with vertical stripes and have black Liverpool as a contrast in the lapel. There is a fake welt pocket opening. It looks like a welt pocket, but it's not. Super fun to sew. And all the neckline is put together with a really fun burrito method, really neat inside. Instead of top stitching, I ended up under stitching, which is usually what I do. You can see it's styled 
more formally with a nice dress underneath and it'll also work with a denim skirt and just a colorful top I think whenever you make a garment in black and white it can really go a long way in the wardrobe I've sort of cemented my love for black and white this year you'll see a lot of it the video on my channel is one of the longest I made during the year because this is not a t-shirt let's be honest there are quite a few steps but it's all very doable and I show in detail step by step so you can make it too this is the Whistler sweater and hoodie from Love Notions I hadn't made this pattern before I'm really glad I gave it a go it's one of the older patterns it already has been updated to include all the full size range from extra small to 5x there is a standard and a full bust I make a size extra large with a standard bust the construction of the pockets is super original I'd never seen a pattern that came together this way it looks harder than it is I have a full detailed step-by-step -step on my channel on how to sew that front seam that includes the pocket entrance along with a small short collar that I find adorable again I don't have any other style like this in my wardrobe you can add a hemband if you want there are quite a few options in the pattern you can make it into a dress you can opt to have a front that has a little bit of gathers under the short collar mine is more simple and I really like this green sweater knit. The Bainbridge pullover from Itch to Stitch was a treat to sew, even though it is designed for structured knit fabrics with low stretch. There are actual bust cup sizes here and bust darts on the side, which I think is genius. I love a dart. I think it really shapes the side of a garment in wovens and I really miss them on knits. So finding that here was real, real nice. The pockets are super easy to put together. I'm showing you how to do that on the video on my channel as well as the placket. The placket you can make in a woven as well as the binding that finishes the hem at the bottom and the sleeves. I've made one in a stretch velvet. I think the stretch velvet one looks really dressed up. I really like a more formal looking garment. This light denim is the same denim I've used for my plackets, my binding. And the other one is in a burgundy sweater knit, super pretty. Of course you can use fleece and sweatshirting materials. The only difference with this one is that I just sewed the side seams closed and I don't have the pockets there to put my hands in. I like my makes to look a little bit more formal so I can wear them with skirts like you see me styling them here. Love that bust that. I think it's always a great add even if it is a pullover i think it's great the tropicana shirt from wardrobe by me is actually just a shirt but i decided to make it into a little jacket instead i sized up one and i used a linen fabric i can use this as a layering piece like a little jacket i think it's totally possible to make a little jacket with a shirt pattern and just makes the pattern go a longer way love it how i've got it here on top of a black skirt and a red top i did a little facing trick to make the collar construction easier and i do have a video I made for the wardrobe by me channel about this pattern I added a bit of length to the body of the Tropicana one and a half inches just to make it a little longer so it's more suitable as a little jacket because that was my intended outcome again black and white you will see a lot of it in this roundup I've made the boyfriend cardigan from love notions a few times already and I'm always changing it up and I think this one had a really dramatic change with the 10 extra inches I added on I modified it to be sleeveless and I've added leather look jersey as details I also added a belt just for decoration just to give a little bit of waist to finish it at the back I think it's really pretty on the sides I have really long vents that overlap with wooden buttons super pretty different to the ones I'd made before Four that were closer to the original style this is like a type of coat for me perfect for my weather and sleeveless keeps my arms nice and fresh the Gothenburg top is from itch to stitch now this green one that you're seeing here was one of my fails this year I didn't have many fails I think maybe this was the only one I would class as a fail and it's totally got to do with the fabric choice this Ponty Roma is just way too stiff it's just just wrong it feels really uncomfortable and there's no way I can wear this garment although when I made it in the other fabrics you'll see next it's perfectly fine here you can see one that I really like in a really fuzzy sweater knit the basta is hidden in there you can't really see it I think the fit is amazing I did add some length to the body and the sleeves as always and it's a really easy to sew pattern it's only got three pattern pieces it'll take you less than an hour to sew this one has bust cup sizes also and bust starts which I really appreciate so easy to sew in my channel you can see how to sew it the neckline is all integrated into the front and back pieces it's just folded in so you don't have to deal with neck bands or facings or anything like that the bust out on the side makes all the difference for me when you have a larger cup size 
it does shape the sides and you don't get those drag lines that you sometimes see with neat garments that go from the bust to the waist it's just all smooth on the side and I really love that with the third one taking advantage of that bust that I just transformed that bust that into princess seams and used contrast I had that printed sweater knit as a remnant from another pattern I'd made in 2018 it's so pretty I knew it had to be good for something I combined it with a medium weight rayon French terry that you see in the center and on the sleeves a really good use of my scraps here bust that's always cool to me I love making modifications with them and, and transforming it to a princess seam was really really easy doable and I love doing that a little intermission for you now the next pattern I have to share with you was made with Sinclair patterns and about Sinclair patterns they are having an end of year sale where you put two items in your cart or three you can put as many as you want but you get one of those free it's just one offer one use per client so you can get two patterns in your cart and not pay for one or you can put more items in your cart and get one free anyway I wanted to share that with you because you might want to get a pattern for free I have been sewing quite a lot of Sinclair patterns this year and actually on my trip quite a few of Sinclair patterns makes made it into my suitcase I literally brought over a handful of garments this is my azalea top I, I've made two of these and both of them made it into my suitcase so you can really see how wearable they are how comfortable I've enjoyed all the patterns all my makes I find them very relaxing in my mind I know when I saw a Sinclair pattern that I'm going to choose a tall file I won't need to make many pattern adjustments and in a lot of cases I've needed to make zero pattern adjustments which is really nice so I will leave you my affiliate link down below if you use it I do make a little commission from there and that is one of the ways that you can support the work that I do here on YouTube I've made 32 garments this year from Sinclair patterns so if you take into account that I've made 140 32 of them is a pretty good chunk of them I have a blog post down below where with one click you can go over to my website and see all the roundup all the pictures all the videos are embedded there so you can have a really nice overview of all my Sinclair patterns makes this year if you want more information and of course in blog posts if you click on the links it will take you directly with my affiliate link and that is also one way I make a small commission and I can keep my website and blog there's also costs involved there as well so I'm very grateful when you use my affiliate link it does really mean a lot to me it really does support the work that I do here now let's get back into the roundup the Skyla from Sinclair patterns it's a really nice shape on the front it looks like an hourglass so it can give that illusion depending on the colors that you choose this one that you see here is an athletic knee in the center which was a leftover from a dress I'd made and some stretch velvet on the sides and the sleeves I deepened the crew neckline and just made it more of a scoop and used the neckband and instead of putting a hemband I just bound the edges I didn't have more fabric to do a hemband there there are hidden pockets in the center super fun to put together and of course you can see how to sew that on the channel on the video I have about this pattern I made all my versions with leftovers the red you see in the center was also a leftover from a dress and then I combined it with a medium weight rayon French terry for the sides and the sleeves. Here I modified the neckline to be a V and I just drafted my own V neckband for it. A little deeper I didn't actually use the cow or the hoodies. It's a really fun pattern with a really interesting shape and sewing techniques are always great. Height files from Sinclair patterns always make a huge difference for me in the fit. I really don't need to do any fitting adjustments at all very relaxing because I know I can cut them and sew them and I'll be really happy. This is my second terra tunic. This one has long sleeves. It's a sweater knit. I've cut it on the bias. That's why you see the stripes are diagonal. Still hasn't been updated to the full size range but it will eventually. So up to now it goes up to a 3XL and it only has a standard bust option. I used a really really lightweight sweater knit, love the look there and I used the facing option with a boat neckline and an overlap at the shoulders with buttons. There are other options in this pattern, there's another one with an asymmetric neckline that I've made in the past. You can see how to sew this facing and the boat neckline on my channel. It is a technique that takes a little while, I do take a lot of precautions to get a really neat result but it's so worth it because it's so pretty. Super enjoyable make. This one is a lot shorter. This is not a tunic. I made it just to be a top and also for it to fit in my fabric. Three and a half inches shorter than the original. I did keep the vents on the side, although they are smaller, they are shorter. 
and again having these tones of grey and black means that I can wear it with any colourful bottoms, in this case I have red linen pants and this type of combination of colours is always something that makes me feel me and makes me feel great. The Linea sweater from Sinclair Patterns was free for a few weeks when it was released, it's not free anymore but you might have gotten it for free and it's super good for colour blocking, it's got a lot of interesting little pieces there around the high bust and the shoulder, front and back. I color blocked mine discreetly only with a herringbone sweater knit and black. I do have some fake leather on the curved pocket openings. Otherwise, my color blocking is pretty discreet. I think it's totally me. You'll see a lot of black and white. As I said, this is one of the many garments I made like that. You can see how to put all these pieces together on the video of my channel. It's really fun. You can use little bits that you don't think have much good use, but you can pull out a really nice sweater that is really nicely made. It fits amazing. I have a 16 toe file and it was really fun to sew. The legging coat from Itch to Stitch has to be one of the highlights of the year, one of my favorite makes and one of the most satisfying. The features of this pattern are amazing. A great size range from 0 to 40 and cups A through double D. Mine is a 12 to a 14 hips with a C cup and I use a herringbone wool suiting material that is a bit lighter than most coat materials perfect for my weather because it will never get that cold inside I have a satin purple lining just a poly satin lining and it's amazing the shaping is great with princess seams that come from the shoulders front and back and there is a waistband piece between the bodice and the skirt pieces inseam pockets that are super easy to sew in general this coat looks harder to sew than it really is yes there are a lot of pieces but there are a lot of straight ish looking seams nothing too complex this fabric is everything it's got like a golden type of paint on top of the herringbone it's so so amazing it looks like a bronzy gold color it's one of my most proudest makes ever and as a bonus for you i do have a full sew along on the channel with three parts so in all detail you can sew it up with me and get a beautiful coat i did it in the same detail i do with my patreon sew alongs and it's available on the channel you won't regret it and you have some amazing and that you can be proud of. Here's a far away look at my octave coat. This is not a coat, it's more like a blazer. I made it out of linen. It's grey, it's shorter than the original octave coat by about four inches. I don't have the pockets in this version but I still have that side front piece with some top stitching from, from the princess seam down. There's a little corner, I'll show you that up closer. This one has the wide lapel option which is a free add-on that you can find for the octave coat. The original is just a rounded short collar. This one has a point 90 degree angle I really like this one up closer you can see the length I've got a lighter gray tone of top stitching here all around these areas I was careful to be precise in this corner I really enjoy that on the front I've also got some top stitching on the back center seam an easier to sew coat than others that you would see I do have a lot of sewing content on the channel that would help you put this coat together in this case it's an octave blazer that's what I really wanted this is the Lumia jacket from Green Star Creations I made two of these actually and I was a pattern tester it's a really nice jacket with lots of nice details there are some curved seams that come from the neckline and within that seam you have an inseam pocket full zipper with a hemband you can put a collar or a hood this is a really heavyweight athletic knit very fun to put together i do have a video showing you how to do all the zipper collar and hemband combo i used a super neat burrito road trick to sew this hemband so it made it really neat and really easy a little bit fiddly but in the end easier than doing it the traditional way and i have a second version that is sleeveless the sleeveless one is made in a lighter weight material it is a cotton spandex but it looks like denim so it's like a denim sleeveless lumia jacket i don't have pockets on this one but i did keep the same seams there as if they were pockets and i had leftovers of a pin tuck I'd done from another project and I used that for the yoke at the back so pretty and this one's unlined it was a real treat to put together a little bit shorter than the original just to fit the zipper I had on hand and it'll be a great layering piece that I can throw on with dresses or pants or whatever you know I like to style my things in 
diverse ways and these jackets were a real blast to sew. I love sewing jackets and these were really nice to whip up. This is one of my Breckenridge Henleys made out of a red sweater knit. So soft, so nice, so, so warm to wear. A little extra precautions to use this type of fabric but totally doable. I have the shirt length, it hits mid hip and the long sleeve with cuff. I'm really happy with the fit. It's got enough ease but it's not boxy, it's not oversized. I really like that. The bands of the placket went on very, very well. Up closer you can see this neckline. I have four buttons sewn through all the layers, no buttonholes. Here is my cuff, so nice. I like sleeves nice and long like this for this type of cozy garment. I think the depth of this V is really nice. You can pull it over your head and take it out without an issue. It's really fun technique, a really beautiful feature and worth all the extra steps. And I'm very happy with this red sweater knit. Red is my favorite color and I feel amazing in this color. Nearing the end of the year, I made another Metro blazer. I always knew it was a pattern I was going to repeat and I knew exactly how. This is a green scuba crepe. It's double-sided, so the darker side is the wrong side, but it's pretty to look at. So I left the lapel and all the edges in a single layer raw. There are no hems here. I top stitched all my seams to highlight them and I transformed the one piece sleeve into a two piece sleeve. Took no time at all to whip up and it's a great little blazer that is just so pretty. It's all about fabric choice. I wouldn't just leave any fabric raw like that. I know this is not going to fray. It's not gonna get damaged over time. So it's another way you might think about making this blazer. There are no pockets here, but it still looks, looks, like, the, it still looks like the original, just easier. No facings, I mean, what can be easier? I made two Serenity sweaters, it's a pattern from Love Notions, this one has been updated for the full size range and it has a full bust option. Here I used the leftover red sweater knit I had from my Breckenridge Henley to make this one sleeveless, it's like a vest, a wrap vest. I do add a neckband to my Serenity sweaters and I make them a little shorter to be able to use the free hem band add-on. The original pattern has a, a different type of hem. I really like it styled over black here and I made a second one with long sleeves in the cutest navy polka dot. So pretty and this one I've got it styled with my glissando skirt also from Love Notions. Really nice wrap sweater, just a little bit different to what I usually sew because usually the wrap styles I sew are bodices for dresses. So having sweaters like this with a wrap is really nice because it is a style I find really pretty. I did make my crossover a little higher so that I don't have to worry about using a pin. And even though I have layering pieces underneath, I could wear these just with my undergarment under there and I would be fine. I wouldn't be showing cleavage or anything like that. This is my Alba jacket from Sinclair Patterns. This was another one of the patterns that I think is a highlight and it was a pattern that took a little while to sew. There are quite a few pattern pieces and sewing steps because of the asymmetry of the zipper and the lovely detail of the pleat on the cowl neckline. You do have to think about all the pieces when you're sewing this garment because there are many that are just cut once, you know, one you use on the left or the right. But these projects that make you slow down are the ones you can mostly be proud of because they aren't just your basic basics. They do have details that are worth it. The side seam pockets are one of the easier features to sew actually. It's not that it's a hard make, but it just takes a little while. This athletic knit with colorful blues. I love it. I love those tones of blues and I think it goes really well with denim. I have it here paired with my Metro pull-on pants, also from Sinclair Patterns and my blue booties. Super special jacket and I hope I can get to wear it out more this year. Making a ton of jackets at the end of the year was my goal and I love sewing them and this is the Donna sweatshirt from 5 out of 4. I made it a little bit different in the way that I sewed it because I lined the front which means I couldn't close the shoulder seams and the side seams. I also line the hood. I am showing you in this video how to line the hood using a burrito method, which makes it easier as well. So nice. I've got a cotton jersey that looks like denim on the hemband and the cuffs. It actually matches the Bridget skirt I'm wearing, which is also a pattern from 5 out of 4. They sort of match. And this green sweatshirting material is a French terry, pretty heavyweight. Low stretch as required by this pattern. So nice. I mean, this jacket feels so luxe on. All the finishing details inside. It's just so custom made for me, exactly the way I wanted it. And I even made my own drawstring, you know. Here I made a size extra large with a regular bust option. There is also a full bust option option P 
piece for the front if you have a larger sewing cup size so that is really helpful the canvas jacket from wardrobe by me is going to be a real good staple for me in red linen this pattern looks like it's harder to sew than it really is just because of all the patch pockets and the top stitching but the collar is actually super easy to sew the yoke at the back is double and sewn using a burrito method so it's really neat sleeves are a two-piece sleeves and they have a vent with some pleats into the cuffs I've used golden buttons and I've taken my time to top stitch as most precisely as I can in all those patch pockets at the front there is a buster on the side for shaping I did add a tiny bit of shaping to the side seams and to the back with some extra waist starts that are not part of the pattern and it's something I always enjoy doing to customize the fit for myself this is my Juno jacket from Sinclair patterns again I've made it in a really pretty athletic knit with purple tones love that and I love it with my purple boots and purple skirts and I've chosen the curved hem option inside that's finished with a facing on the front princess seams you have inseam pockets and there's a really cute zipper pocket on one of the side pieces on the back it is optional but I decided it was worth my time to do it just because it's so cute and there is a zipper guide here on the front I've chosen to do some of the jacket parts with a leather look jersey in purple that matches my print. So nice. The fit of this jacket is amazing with the princess seams on the front and the back. Lovely make. I made as always a tall file with a size 16 and I'm really really happy with the result. A lot of professional details in this pattern and the instructions are amazing. Every little detail is well explained and you can tell there's a lot of thought put into a pattern like this and I'm a fan. This is one of my most recent makes. You would have seen this not so long ago this is the poet's jacket from itch to stitch great pattern quite a few pieces in purple linen i really had a lot of fun with all the top stitching i love the cup sizes that you have in each to stitch patterns they shape the bust so well and on the front there are quite a few pieces that give you that shaping the princess seams come from the shoulders and there are two princess seams there's also princess seams at the back a hem band very neat finishes the neckline is rounded and it's finished in a double layer you can see how to do that in my video on the channel you have two piece sleeves with a vent finished really nicely really neatly and a little cuff at the bottom i did lengthen my jacket a tad about one and a half inches that's about the maximum you would be allowed to lengthen this jacket because of the way that the fit is with the hem band it shouldn't really reach the full hip or the mid hip and this is going to go with so many of my dresses it's just going to be a staple because I've been building purple into my wardrobe and having a purple jacket like this is amazing. I'd say it's one of the highlights of the year as well. It's a Tuva Smart Cardigan from Sinclair Patterns. You've also seen this pretty recently and I wore it on my trip over to Chile. I used a pretty structured sweater knit to sew this pattern which is the recommended type of fabric something drapey is not going to work the contrast you see on the front in the curved area is made out of cotton lycra and in that curve that you see there you have integrated pockets there is enough ease to have a small overlap there are two lengths offered in this pattern this is the shorter length that's offered there is a longer one at the back you have princess seams and they give amazing shaping Ola as well includes all that contrast piece it's just super unique. The way that you put it together is magical. Really well thought out pattern. I made this songbird duster for my mum. This is a size 14 Australian. This is a beautiful printed chiffon with a navy background. My mum's favorite. She styled it here with denim. I love the way she looks here. The length in the pattern is called cover up and she has a semi flared sleeves. Closer look at the band and the sleeve fit. It's a nice length that covers your bottom, super floaty. She's really excited to have this one and I'm very happy I made it for her. This is my Songbird Dasta. I made it in a size 18 Australian. This is a crepe crinkle chiffon with embroidery details, a bit of sequins in there, just a little bit. I have the cover up version which hits the full hip. It actually does cover my bottom and I have the regular short sleeve version. Those were my options. My band finishes with a little rectangle finish. Very simple styling. I don't have many options right now I am building up teal in my wardrobe and this will go perfectly up above you can see the neckline and the shoulder fits very comfortable there's a nice amount of ease but it does meet the center with a little crossover very comfortable to wear in a nice light fabric you can see that there was a really good range diverse amount of projects from cardigans 
light chiffon top is all the way to a lined wool coat remember i have a full sew along for the legging coat on my channel you know you can take advantage of that it's completely free and it will get you from the start to the end of sewing an amazing coat that's fully lined so i just thought i remind you about that still coat making weather right if you're in winter if I had all the time in the world I would make a lot more jackets I really enjoy making jackets and I tend to make a lot of plans to sew jackets because I think they're the items that you can mostly be proud of and that are really cost effective in terms of what you use for fabric and all of that compared to what these items could cost you you know with the same quality of fabric and the custom fit has no price really that is priceless so I think it's a really good type of garment to get yourself into you can start with easier projects and you saw like the Metra blazer I simplified it a lot by getting all the edges raw just by using the correct type of fabric that's not going to fray you can ease yourself into sewing jackets like that of course cardigans sweaters and hoodies those are always super easy and super enjoyable to sew and I've enjoyed all of them you can see I finished off the year with two extra toppers I've made just recently and it is actually the last video on the channel that you've seen all about my songbird dusters really light layering pieces for the summer it can also work for winter if you make it in a really nice neat don't forget that pattern emporium is also running the end of year sale site-wide 30 percent off i will leave all the links down below if you're interested so at this moment pattern emporium and sinclair patterns have some type of sale going on i always like to share that with you because we all like to get things for a bit less right i hope you enjoyed seeing this variety of makes in just one video and we will have videos every day this week up until the 31st one will be all about the tops i've made another will be about the dresses and another one will be bottoms bottoms will include skirts and pants of all of all sorts there is a lot of fun viewing for you this week as a good roundup and i hope you join me and watch them yeah i really hope you do watch them because they take a lot of time to edit but i made them with a lot of love for you because i know they can be quite entertaining that's all from me today i will see you again tomorrow continuing on with our roundup week of all the sewing from 2021 see you soon bye